Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Liber tutorial for beginner. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install Liber in your Laravel project. So let's go and first get our Laravel project first. So I'll just open a command prompt over here and create our Laravel project. So in order to create our Laravel project, we need to write this command Laravel new and we need to mention our project name. Let's our project name will be live or tutorial. Let's press enter and it will create a laravel project and i'll just fast forward the video for now and here you can see our project is created and uh, here you can see library tutorial folder over here if i go inside you can see this is our La laravel project so let's run this project so for it uh, here uh, we need to go to this library tutorial project directory so for it we'll say over here cd live or tutorial Let's press enter and currently we are in the library tutorial directory so let's run the project so for it we'll just over here php artisan serve let's press enter and here you can see our project is running so uh, let me just copy this control c and paste it here and there you go this is our laravel project that we just created and i also open the project using sublime text over here you can see library tutorial written over here and right now directly we will go to resource queues and then welcome.blade.php and i'll remove everything from here and let's just say over here normal html and inside the body i'm going to say uh, h on tag let's say here live or tutorial let's save it Control s and right now if we refresh over here here you can see library tutorial and up until now we haven't done anything related to library we only just created laravel project so right now we will install library in our laravel project so let me just open a command prompt over here uh, and here you can see this is the command prompt and in order to install library in our laravel project we need to write this command composer require live wire slash library let's press enter and it will install library in our project and there you go and here you can see our library is installed over here so right now let me just so right now what we have to do is that we need to go to the head section and here we have to write over here at the rate of live or capital s t y styles and then we need to go to at the end of our body tag and here we'll say at the rate of live or capital s skip s c r i p t s capital s and skip so right now we are ready to write our library code inside this body so right now let's say we want to show a specific view for live wire uh, over here now let's say after library tutorial so for it first of all we need to create a library view and in order to create a library view we need to write a command in our common prompt so in the common prompt we are going to say php artisan make clone live wire and here we are going to mention a name you can mention any name you want let's say over here hello or w o r l d hello or and then let's press enter and here you can see it is telling us something that class this one is created uh, in the app HTTP library, uh, there is hello world.php is created, and also in the view, uh, in the view, there is a folder called library, and inside that folder, hello world.blade.php is created. And after that, it is asking us something would you like to sh uh, show some love by sharing the repo? We'll just say over here no, and then press enter. Okay, so right now, uh, let me just minimize it. So right now, if you go to our views, here you can see we have a library folder over here and inside the library folder, here you can see hello world blade.php and then if we go to our app, then HTTP and inside HTTP, here you can see we have a folder called library and if I go inside, here you can see we have something called hello world over here, hello world.php. So you can uh, think of this library as a controller and you can think of this actually this is a blade view hello world.blade.php so what will happen is that uh, this is this will work as a controller it will return as a view uh, library dot hello world, which is this one okay so let me just uh, write it over here like this we'll say over here live wire live wire clone 
and here we are going to mention hello all and we will close it like this and let's say in the uh, hello dot blade dot we will write something over here let's say hello from live wire and right now if we save it over here then if we now refresh here here you can see hello from library so what is happening uh, is that we are saying about here library hello all so it is calling this library hello all and our this library hello all is returning us uh, this view library dot hello all which is this one in the views here you can see a folder called library and inside library we have hello all dot blade dot php and uh, let me just show you one more thing and that is okay let me just open it like this uh, let's go to views layouts and column two and here uh, let's have this hello all this site and here you can see hello from library and this is the hello all dot php which is this on a uh, library uh, this on uh, in the http so here uh, what we'll do is that if we just mention about here public public let's say dollar name equal to let's say leave your life so if you write it like this uh, public uh, dollar name equal to something like this it means we'll be able to have access to this dollar name in our hello.blade.php over here okay because we are returning the view uh, from here this view so here if you just uh, give two second bracket then if we just over here dollar name just like in the laravel uh, we need to give two second bracket and inside it we need to write the variable just like we write in the laravel so if we save it and then if we just refresh here here we can see we can see something called live your life so this is all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll learn data binding in library so thanks for watching and uh, if you learn something new then i will actually really appreciate if you subscribe to this channel so thanks again for watching stay tuned and stay healthy